गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते श्रीमला दीदी जी नमस्ते नमस्ते सभी को गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन यस वी कैन बिगिन जी थैंक यू सो वी हैव दिस मॉर्निंग सेशन फॉर क्वाइट लॉन्ग टाइम एंड फॉर लास्ट फोर डेज वी हैव स्टार्टेड द सेल्फ इवोल्यूशन एज आवर पर्सनल शेयरिंग एज आवर पर्सनल डेवलपमेंट in this process today we have with us sunil kumar ng sunil bhaiya namaste namaste so before before we start let me take the privilege to introduce uh, sunil bhaiya so sunil kumar uh, ng was head in civil engineering also principal in the college of engineering kuttan Kochi University of Science and Technology, Kochi, Kerala, since 1999, and he has associated with ESB uh, from June 2020, and being identified as a PPI in January 2021, and from that day he has been continuing as a volunteer, uh, also sharing. Contained in different workshops, whether it is online and offline, and he has been a source of inspiration for many of the co-explorer. So, with this short introduction, I may <coughs> request Sunil Bhaiya to share uh, his self-evaluation, keeping these points in mind, and in the stipulated time. as we discuss and uh, he is much aware about it as we declare all the day so sunil bhai namaste over to you okay. yeah namaste itara prasna bhai am i audible yes you are perfectly yeah. thank you namaste shamla didi and namaste all my dear co explorers yeah thank you itara prasna ji for introducing me My name is Sunil Kumar N. I hail from Kutanad, which is recognized by the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations in 2012 as one of the three globally important agricultural heritage systems in the country. I was born and brought up in the in this low-lying land, which is the rice bowl of Kerala, and I studied in rural schools also. I continued my educational journey to the University of Calicut for my B.Tech in Civil Engineering, Kerala University for M.Tech in Structural Engineering, and later to the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, for my Ph.D. in Computational Mechanics. I long to be a teacher, following the footsteps of my maternal and paternal grandfathers, both were teachers, school teachers. So I started my uh, teaching career in January 1995. I worked with several institutions and pursued uh, non-teaching assignments too before settling in the Kochi University of Science and Technology from 14th of July 1999 as a faculty member in civil engineering. So by profession, as Sarah Pusnaji pointed out, I am a professor in civil engineering at the rural campus of the university, named as Kochi University College of Engineering, Kutanad. I hold the position of the head of the division, as Sarah Pusnaji. Not at all. My wife Sunita is a state government servant by profession, and currently holding the post of uh, assistant director of audit of cooperative societies. My daughter Parvati, she is doing her third year B Tech in civil engineering in my institution, and my son Parthen, he is completing his uh, plus two program now. My parents and siblings are staying in my ancestral home, which is eight kilometers away from where I am staying. My mother-in-law is staying with me. As Tara Ji mentioned in the introduction, I have been associated with UHP activities from my attending this introductory workshop in the in June 2020. Later, I attended the online SIP 
which is conducted which was conducted by the NCCIP ACT in October November 2020 and that is along with my daughter who joined for her engineering graduate program in my college at that time by that time the 3 year time of my principal post was over and i could invest more time in the usb activities i could play a role in introducing this usb2 course in the curriculum of btech programs in my university that is kisar as a member of the board of studies in civil engineering and faculty of engineering then i attended refresher on part 1 in february 2021 it helped me to go deeper into some of the usb proposals however several proposals remained as information to me then i shared values to the second year students of my college that is usb2 course online my self exploration has been improving when i share values with the students i attended the refreshment part 2 in january 2022 then i started a volunteering as my commitment in that workshop i have also started giving demo presentations in saturday and sunday weekly meetings and sunday morning resource person development meetings the regional Con- volunteers conference at bangalore in april 2022 and the lead volunteers meeting at pune in january 2023 helped me to enrich my self exploration i am fortunate to attend the lead volunteers meeting in pune Vidyarthi Griha College of Engineering, Pune, from 20th to 22nd January. So the name of the college itself is uh, Vidyarthi Griha College. So you can see how the faculty and students are uh, having their college as their Griha, their home. This was experienced by us also when we were there, meeting with uh, Ganesh Ji, Umesh Ji, Shamla Didi, Rajul Ji, and many other resource volunteers. in these meetings and otherwise interaction in person or over phone uh, that is helping me in enriching clarity of the usp content and uh, enhancing my self exploration i joined the morning sessions from april 2022 after getting the information from tarabhaya and uh, deepa didi so at that time sharing by participants was going on and then i Uh, joined this fifth batch of morning sessions from 16th of May 2022, and then tried to attend it keenly. So observing the self by the self, and observing the body and the self by the self started happening occasionally only in the beginning. I could reinforce some of the steps of exercise one when I attended the face-to-face workshop at Chennai as a co-facilitator. and tirvent tubram as an observer aided by the resource persons panishi mishra didi and umesh paya respectively then i joined the uh, rejoined the morning session of, uh, in in batch 6 as a panel member that was a great opportunity for me which facilitated to be in touch with the content in the slides and an opportunity to share the slides for shamla didi and kumar priya i try uh, continuing my observations at every moment and be aware of the same however i can see that i have to go a long way to be a pure observer but i see that i observe it as a pure observer but still this process is taking time for me now coming to the steps in exercise 1 observing the self by the self step number 1 i see that uh, this is the most uh, crucial and important step in exercise 1 that is i i am able to observe myself my imagination at every moment i observed that i had uh, mixed and conflicting thoughts and had been confused regarding the purpose behind my thoughts and occasions earlier now as i observe i recognize that some imagination is going on at all the time in me and i can also recognize that there are feelings analysis comparison and expectations associated with every imagination 
I can exemplify this with uh, imaginations related to family affairs, matters related to my work, interaction with uh, my friends and others, the public also, I would say. I had been a person who always wanted to be special and the thoughts were aligned in that light. This is with regard to my previous sanskar. During the process of self-exploration, I can realize that I am similar to others and no one is special. I observed that I had been trying to dominate in situations at home or workplace and it put me under depression or ego at times. But with my observation on myself, as in step number one, exercise one, I slowly start coming out of the states of ego and depression. Now in step number two, I can observe the and, and distinguish between the feelings which are natural, of which I want continuity and other feelings and other feelings. This is reflected in my interactions with my children and wife at home and students at the institution. Naturally, acceptable feelings are getting reflected outside rather than feelings of opposition, jealousy, or hatred. But I won't say that this is uh, conclusive, because many times these reactions happen inside. So at times, my previous sanskar pops up, and I argue with my colleagues, family members, and friends. I can see that this argument, uh, these arguments create a feeling of opposition in them. But one good thing is that I quickly go into evaluation and understand the feelings in such activities. So as a result, I try to restore uh, naturally acceptable feelings in me. So whenever I uh, go into my previous sanskar, now I can see that the evaluation is happening. I analyze it as a pure observer. And I can see that uh, the whether the feelings are naturally acceptable or not. This is a shift which I can see in me as a result of this exercise. Now, in as in step number three, whenever I can recognize that the feelings are naturally acceptable, I feel I am in harmony. Even when I see myself reacting inside in my interactions with some of the colleagues, I could observe this step and help myself to transform the feelings to naturally acceptable ones. I could observe the state of happiness within as I see that I am in harmony. Now step number four is an all important step. I can observe that I am responsible for all the feelings which I have. This was not the case before. I thought that the other is responsible for my feelings. The other is uh, putting me in unhappiness at occasions. This is evident from my continuous interaction with my colleagues in my institution. I was in opposition to some of them, owing to some external factors, and it reflected in my interactions. However, uh, as I undergo step number four in exercise one, I can observe that the change in my in me is due to my own decisions and not because of the external triggers. Now, whenever I interact with some old colleagues, maybe somebody who has retired or somebody who is uh, having long, experience, long years of experience. Usually earlier I, I used to complain regarding what is happening in the institution and what I am not happy with all these things. But now I can see the shift that I do not go into complaining about the ones with whom I had been in, in opposition. Rather, I discuss regarding the lack of understanding part and how I can help them to improve their competence. So this is what I see as a shift. The complaints are reduced in me. But still, I think I have to work upon myself to set my feelings naturally acceptable internally and externally. So after my uh, second cycle of exercise one, that is in batch six, I can observe that step number one to four are happening in quick succession. 
that I could not distinguish among them. So the I can see that there are some imaginations happening within me, and I go into uh, evaluation of the feeling part in the imagination, and then I see that what is naturally acceptable to me. So these things are these steps are happening in quick succession. Observing imagination as they are and evaluating if they are naturally acceptable and my responsibility for my feelings could be seen as a single step now. That is another shift which I can see right now. Now in step number five, the basis of making decisions is either understanding or assumptions. I can see that I had been under many preconditioned assumptions when I uh, took some decisions earlier. The behavior of the other was evaluated and considered as the basis of decisions. And now we realize that the need for right understanding as in step number five. And this is evident from my shifting in behavior with some of my colleagues with whom I have been in opposition in the past. Some of my assumptions based on futuristic assessment with some colleagues went wrong when the knowing is in place. I felt very low and irritated owing to unfavorable behavior of uh, some of my colleagues in the past. I'm just mixing up this previous sanskar and uh, the current sanskar just to uh, uh, see the shift in myself. After undergoing the USB proposals in September 5 of XS1, I can recognize that my feelings of uh, low or irritation are owing to my lack of understanding. Now I try to know things to the core before jumping into assumptions based on preconditionings or sensations. But the process is still on and continuing. So thanks to this uh, step number five, I would say, in helping me out in this. Now coming to step number six, I am in the process of observing the naturally acceptable feelings of relationship, harmony, and coexistence. In each of my activity, and it helps opening up of the block B1 of right understanding as a consequence of step number five. Contemplating relationship with every other human being, understanding harmony with the natural, with, with the nature, and realizing the coexistence with the entire existence are slowly begin slowly being transferred from the level of information to verification in me. I can see that this is a long process and of course a slow process. So this step is one in which I have to continue working with myself. Step number seven requires deeper exploration. I can see that I'm happy at this moment. However, to ensure the continuity of the same, I have to work more because this previous sanskar is still there. So I'm coming out of uh, the preconditioned sanskars very slowly only, so I had to work more, explore more in experientially validating the proposals. I can observe that my feelings and thoughts were off track at times and they put me in a state of ego or depression, most likely. But during the process of verification of the proposals, I can see that the natural acceptance and my thoughts get slowly aligned with relationship, harmony and coexistence. But still, there is a long way to go to reach the state of continuity of happiness. I can see that there is improvement in following step number six and seven at the end of this batch six sessions from my batch five sessions. So more clarity in the steps is there in the form of information. But to ensure the feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence and continuous happiness, I have to work more with myself. That is regarding exercise number one. And now the steps in exercise number two, observing the self, the body, and the interaction between the self and the body in space by itself. I can observe that both I and my body are existential realities and are in space as in step number one of exercise two. I can see that my body is made of atoms and molecules as any other material and my self who is the 
seer, the decision maker, and the experiencer is a conscious reality. I and my body are in coexistence in space. However, the concept of no activity ever pervading space is yet to be understood clearly. I am working upon the same. Step number two, there is um, continuous transfer of information from my body to myself in the form of sensations and from myself to my body in the form of instructions. This is happening through the space and there is a distance between the self and the body. This distance is something which I have been working upon after the batch phase sessions. I could not understand this fully in my previous uh, session of morning sessions. From the sensation which I give importance or ignore, for example, the pain in different parts of the body, sometimes I pay attention to them, sometimes I do not. And not, regard, not reading the sensations for sleep sometimes because of the work intensity and uh, the demand from the work, or from noise outside while I am focusing upon a class or focusing upon a work. These are some examples. So from this, I can see this distance to some extent. I can see that this is not the physical distance, but the sensation when to read and when not to read, and what to read and what not to read. That is what I am deciding. I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. So however, I have to work upon it further. This is leading to, this is, this is actually leading directly to step number three and four, naturally. I can see step number three of exercise two very clearly as I can ignore some sensations from my body at times. I forget about my body pain or some ailment in my body while I conduct classes as I enjoy doing the same, enjoy doing the later, the class, conducting classes. But as and when I finish a class meeting, I become aware of the sensations from my body. This happens several times to me, even before this uh, usual exercises. So once I am off the class, I can feel that I'm very tired. Maybe I had been uh, conducting the class for maybe two hours or three hours sometimes. I may not feel the tiredness which I, when I am conducting that uh, uh, class meeting with the students, interacting with the students. But soon after, immediately after this class meeting, I feel very tired and I feel hungry or sometimes I do not feel this hunger or uh, even thirsty. So I can also see very clearly that when I enjoy a, a piece of music or movie or sporting activity, I forget about other sensations from the body. Like uh, somebody is calling me, this also I just uh, may not uh, notice. Now, uh, as in step number four, this is again a consequence of step number two and three. I'm not uh, aware of uh, some sensation when I am involved in interesting activities, say playing badminton, conducting classes, etc. I can observe that I am not the sensation. I slowly realize the distance between the self and the body in the context of re reading or ignoring the sensation, but I have to go a long way. Now in step number five, my interaction with the body or the world outside by, is by way of sensation. I read the sensation by decision, giving meaning to the sensation. My reaction or response depends upon my sense gap. So whenever I suggest something uh, for the benefit of my institution in some meetings and uh, it is getting rejected or not at all considered by my higher authorities, I used to get irritated by, uh, I used to get irritated and uh, develop a feeling of opposition with the later. I used to tell some of uh, my other colleagues who are uh, close to me regarding the irritating behavior of my higher authorities. Sometimes I argued with the higher authorities also with a feeling of opposition. This sense car of mine is slowly changing to naturally acceptable feelings. As I can see, the trust and intention in every other human being and lack in competence distinctly. I see the other person let him or her be a higher authority or 
any other person as similar to me and we have different levels of competence. So step number five of exercise two is helping me to read sensation by decision and see that my response or reaction depends upon my sense car. Now in step number six A, I tend to react if my sense car is based on assumptions. I decide my feelings right or wrong, uh, become happy or unhappy based on external inputs. I the, the expressions of my feelings outside is a result of my sense car. This I can see very well. Reactions based on external input are now giving way to naturally acceptable responses. So earlier there were reactions and now they are giving way to responses. But the transformation is gradual. I observe that slipping back to my deep root of previous sense car is now getting reduced. So many times this happened, but now it is this frequency is now getting reduced. I soon go into this evaluation in such occasions. But I can help myself to see that at such occasions, my assumptions are not based on proper knowing. I spend time to understand things before acting based on assumptions. Now in step number 6b, I respond when my sanskar is based on understanding. I have started working with step number 6b uh, through my observation of Returning back to my previous sense card owing to lack of right understanding. When some of my pr proposals to strengthen the content of presentation in an assessment team when were rejected in a meeting by my higher authority, I did not slip into my previous sense card. So this happened very recently only. Then ACTI visited the, the institution. So some of my proposals to um, improve the proposals and uh, Im improve the presentation was reject, were rejected. Yeah. So I did not slip into my previous sense car of arrogance, but I could speak to the higher authority with a feeling of affection privately and convey my points. The partial acceptance of the suggestions was an indication of ensuring naturally acceptable feelings in me. But even if the suggestions are not accepted, I try to find alternate paths to present good practices, etc to the assessment team and it worked out. But without creating an opposition in the higher order, I was doing that. Now, step number seven in exercise number two, that is observing my being in space. I am in space, in coexistence in space. The body is also in space, in coexistence in space. I can see that I am in coexistence with all other units in space, but I can also observe that the, com the complete realization part of this is still far away. So I had to work upon this step. I feel that I have to undergo exercises one and two again and again, every moment to have more clarity and continuously and continuity in living. I have a feeling of uh, being special and enjoy privilege of the same in the past. But I see that all human beings are similar in purpose, program, and potential. And we differ only at the level of competence. As and when I interact with my colleagues, students, friends, and my family members, I'm able to see my level of competence improving through the process, though the process is gradual. So this is, sometimes it is uh, uh, being exemplified in the interactions of my colleagues with me and my family members with me also. Now coming to the so, the, so out of the uh, steps, some of the steps I could see very clearly and some of them I have to work upon, especially with regard to this uh, coexistence. Now, uh, as in the indicator, the point number four in the indicator, happiness is your innate nature. Uh, and not a, not the effect of from outside. How clearly are you able to see this? Regarding this uh, indicator, I would like to place the following. I had been searching for happiness outside as I was in a confused state before verifying most of the UHP proposals. I could recognize that I have a natural inclination towards the proposals of UHP before attending my first workshop. 
my affinity to the proposals and wish to verify them are results of the same regarding that my happiness the dependence on expectation from outside that is getting reduced now drastically as i can observe it through my interaction with, my, with the people around and nature my research on sustainable construction working with uh, students not turning into uh, favorable results etc are not affecting my happiness this is something which i can see now after undergoing the proposals in fact uh, as i told you i have been having some affinity towards the proposals but i was not getting some directions or getting some streamlined way of doing things so opening to the proposals of uhv and undergoing this uh, uh, morning exercises is now giving me directions so that my thoughts are aligned with my natural acceptance and i can see this transformation within me now regarding my commitment how much time can i devote for developing right understanding feeling how much time can i devote for social responsibility emerging out of my natural self expression so regarding this part as the observation is a continuous process i try to develop right understanding through all the activities whether they are interactions with other human beings or work with the nature i can see a shift in my feelings to naturally acceptable ones but gradual as many of my projects being belonging to sustainability in construction i can directly relate the proposals with work and devote time to social responsibilities i shall continue sharing values at various levels and platforms helping myself and others to improve competence i shall continue my volunteering activities in the online and offline workshops weekly meetings the kerala chapter meetings the kusat usb cell meetings various projects related to usb including the translation of the content to malayalam and other related works now we can observe that there is no distinction or border lines or boundaries between my regular academic activities and usb activities when i involve myself in teaching and guiding engineering content the proposals of usb comes in and help me and the students to see things with clarity i speak about being aware i speak about being aware and uh, human goals in the classes very often connecting the connecting to the flow of my academic discussions in other activities also i can see the influence of the proposals of usb in a very natural way so i conclude my uh, sharing with a word of gratitude to all my mentors and fellow co explorers who have been instrumental in helping me to explore and improve my competence there are plenty of names to mention so i do not mention any so thank you everyone for patient listening thank you so much shambla didi tarapasna bhaiya and uh, all of you thank you thank you sunil bhaiya for your detailed elaboration on the points cited and also on the exercise 1 and 2 so you have pointed many points about the feeling of relationship about the feeling of special and transformation towards you know feeling of being same with the others and domination at the family workplace which was leading to ego and depression which is slowly reducing and uh, also you have cited about the interaction with your colleagues and the higher authorities where you have seen the shift with the new in the exercise 1 and in the exercise 2 also you have uh, narrated few examples of how you are able to identify the distance between the pain and the self or the sensation in the self and also you have uh, put rest of the points and the most encouraging part of volunteering that you have also mentioned that you have been involving yourself in different activities and you will be involved yourself in different activities in future so very nice way so now i may request or 
को एक्सप्लोरर टू पुट देयर क्वेश्चन स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन अप्रिसिएशन पार्ट वी कैन पुट इन द चैट इटसेल्फ सो नाउ आई मे इनवाइट पीपल टू पुट देयर क्वेश्चन इफ देयर हैव स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन टू सुनील जी प्रिया दीदी नमस्ते नमस्ते भैया आई एम ऑडिबल जी 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 नमस्ते नमस्ते सुनील भैया आई इट वॉज अ नाइस नाइस शेयरिंग आई जस्ट आई नो सुनील भैया आफ्टर यू हेड कम टू Uh, you is um, like particularly in the Kerala chapter after your presence, there has been a lot of development uh, in uh, the meetings, and uh, we could do a lot of things uh, like you know in the uh, in Kerala uh, because of your presence. Um, it was mentioned by uh, Rajul Ji and all, uh, but I just want to know because whenever I I could see that uh, whenever any UHV activities meetings anything happens. uh you you have the time and you have the energy how do you manage uh, you have i know you are very responsible in your job uh, your family uh, these things uh, uh, like no how how do you uh, manage it uh, very well yeah didi this is something which i ask myself quite often but now i can see that uh, there is no um, difference between as i mentioned in the sharing between my uhv activities and other activities that is what i feel like so it is something like uh, merging everything together so let it be my family affairs let it be uh, sharing um, quality time with my family members let it be conducting classes in main institution let it be doing some projects let it be doing some administrative activities because i have head of the department so all these things are now getting aligned with the uhv activities but of course for um, this uh, Uh, meetings and all, I have to find time. So I uh, arrange my works accordingly. My timetable also is uh, arranged uh, accordingly, so that I can see that uh, I I take all my sixteen hours up to twenty hours of class in the during the daytime, um, I mean during the working hours, and then the rest of the time, the evening time, or whenever I get time during the daytime also, I can spend that for. the uhp related meetings or sharing values with the uh, in the fdp etc so i have some specific sessions in the uh, online workshop so for during that time i purposefully keep my time myself off from the regular time table this i do so uh, but still i see that uh, managing time i am not very efficient i have to be uh, work work up on this the underlying thing is that there is no difference between the uhp activities and the other activities that is what i can see now so i can say everything is regular activity only so i see this uh, uh, but preference in uh, other activities with merging with or blending with the uhp activities yeah really yeah thank you uh, one more question i don't know whether i could ask you because i have been uh, there are different ways of understanding uh, the existential reality so i have been in a different path before uh, like art of living so i do those practices also so whether we should do uh, now this coming to uhv i attend the session morning sessions meetings etc whether we should uh, do it both because when when i am observing when i am doing both it is taking uh, like a lot of time uh, so whether Uh, like Shamla ji was telling that this is one path for realization. So when you come, uh, we would have done before many other paths. So whether we need to continue the previous path and uh, this path together, so that is one my one of my doubt. Yeah, Didi, as we say, um, this is only one way to do things, to realize things, to understand, to contemplate. There are many other ways also. but in fact if we look into the various methodologies or various ways of doing this we can see that everything is same so um whether people call it by art of living or some other name in fact uh, everything is leading to the same purpose so the program is also same for every human being but we call it by different names that is what i feel like maybe uh, shamla didi can respond to this much in much depth and detail but this is my exploration um also i can see that whatever i have been doing earlier i mean i have no i was not doing anything specific like this 
but i uh, follow the basic principles which i imbibed from my grandfathers as i told you both of them were teachers and they were my role models also so when i met ganesh ji for the first time in, in the, this pune meeting i felt that uh, i have uh, got back my grandfather uh, one of the grandfathers i would say my uh, paternal grandfather so my paternal grandfather he expired in uh, 2014 at the he was running at the age of 107 but he was very healthy till the day uh, he passed away uh, but when i met ganesh ji i could even uh, as i mentioned over there i could even smell my grandfather so all the features i mean this is sensation part of it but i could say all the features including the way of speaking is there with ganesh ji so that is what i i could connect with so this has been uh, giving me some input in doing something in the past and now when i connect that with this uh, usg proposals i see that uh, i am getting streamlined that is it nothing more than that whatever i have been doing earlier i could get some more force and some more uh, uh, streamlining yeah so i i feel that uh, everything is same but what we do in usg is just one way of doing things that's what i feel like okay didi yeah thank you bye thank you prayadeep thank you sunil bhaiya so we have lot, many hands raised so we can brief our question and we'll be particular about the question so that many of us can interact so we have with us uh, krishan gopal ji namaste namaste tara bhaiya namaste sunil bhaiya and namaste to all namaste krishan ji uh, sunil bhaiya uh, i'm new in at uhv but i have come to uh, come to know about you and uh, i am able to see that you are very active uh, you have active participation in many activities of uhv and your exploration is also matching with your uh, activities and that i can feel and i can see so and you are also working with your institute from last one month i am also involved in morning meetings attending morning meetings and uh, involved in the volunteering work whole day and in the evening ppi calling so uh, these all, all these works uh, when I, we are i am doing these works i am not getting much time with my old activities like uh, uh, i am not able to spend much time with my family and uh, but uh, after even i can i can get time for family but uh, for other friends or like that and all the activities which were taking place in the past are i am not getting time for that and that is somehow affecting the Uh, relations of friends or uh, other relatives extended family so how i can manage it or you can say how you are managing it uh, you can answer in that for this question if that will be great help for me yeah krishna ji so uh, as i responded to priya ji if you see that the the usb activities are in line with uh, my other activities um that may not affect my regular activities like the work but of course whenever it demands like uh, i have to spend more time for let's say a travel there is an important function uh, i have to spend time with my family members there is some issue with my children i have to hospitalize my my child this, these things have had happened in the past that's why i'm telling this or uh, i have to uh, uh, represent my institution in some other institution maybe in with regard to some administrative or academic work so for all these things i can um, borrow time and uh, at the same time if i have this uh, usb related activities like sharing of uh, values in the pp etc i can just say in the uh, in the there is an rp online group also so i can say that i will not be available during this time so there are many volunteers who are ready to uh, help us so we are also helping others and others are also helping us in a complement their in a complementary way so we can manage time so we just need to see that uh, what is my preference at this particular point of time depending upon that i can manage or you can also manage your time it is not that we are uh, forced to do some activities but um we can do this activities at at uh, with our freedom and there is no compulsion from any part of doing this whenever you are not available there are may plenty of other volunteers like uh, you and others tarapasna ji parishit ji or I, if i need to mention there are plenty of names to mention so all of them are there to 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 uh, take care of uh, this activities you are supposed to do 
So this is how I try to manage it, and it is working. One, one more question is there, Sunil Bia. Uh, 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 when I see, just yes, because lots of yeah, yeah, yes, 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 Bia. Uh, because uh, when uh, I uh, when when my close family members are in problem due to their uh, preconditioning or sensation, and they are not uh, uh, in line with natural acceptance, at that time I am helping them, but I have the feeling of opposition inside also, uh, because they are not following the correct path or correct lifestyle, and they are getting the problems. So I am helping them, but I have feeling opposition in myself. So how can how I can overcome it? Yeah, see, you can um, evaluate your feelings at that time. Is that opposition because of your family members, or uh, it, is it coming from from within you? So if you go into this evaluation, we can see that uh, the other is not the problem, but it is me myself. So with this evaluation, we can try helping you first of all. I would say than the other. Uh, the other, so we are taking much time to uh, verify the proposals and validate it in our life. So the other will take more time than that. That is what we can see. So every human being is uh, different in level of competence. So we can first of all help ourselves in improving competence, and then help others also to improve their competence. But it will take time. It takes time for me, so it takes it will take time for the other also. Thank you, sir. Jimmy. Okay. Thank you, Krishna Gopal ji. So we will take the last reflection before we call Sharmila Devi to reflect upon. So Srinivas ji, Namaste. Ah, ah, Namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, namaste, Sharmila ji. Namaste, Sunil Bhaiya. Namaste to all my co-explorers. My mm -hmm. question is simple. Uh, uh, just uh, uh, I would like to know: uh, Do you find any uh, while interacting with your Either family members or professional life by your colleagues or uh, friends uh, in the society. Uh, do you find any behavioral changes in them because of your uh, uh, interaction with them? Uh, is, are there any such incidents? Yeah, there are many, in fact. Um, but first of all, what I see is that uh, is there a change in me? That is what I observe now. In the past, I was observing whether there is a change in them. That is what I was focusing upon. But right now. Even if the other is, uh, say, shouting upon me or they are behaving badly upon me, I was uh, getting disturbed in the past. But now it is not happening. So, and uh, as you mentioned, there are tangible changes in some of my students also, which I mentioned during the morning sessions, which I shared during the morning sessions in the, in the past too. Say, I can say regarding a couple of my colleagues, I mean, a couple of my students who have not been talking at all with their parents as well as uh, family members and to the teachers. So I could work for them. And now there is some appreciable change, which I can notice. This is uh, has happened over, uh, say, two years of time. And it is also there with my other family members and uh, my colleagues also it is happening. I have been working with, uh, say, a couple of my colleagues too. Because one of my colleagues has uh, his uh, uh, child she was studying very well, but now there is some kind of blockage of study. I could see that uh, this is because the parents were just like uh, pestering, persuading uh, the child to study. And one, one just a small incident which I could refer is that uh, in one examination, I was uh, listening, overhearing uh, the conversation of the mother to the father that how much marks, the father was asking how much marks did she obtain in the exam. The mother was telling, yeah, it is 24 only. Uh, then the father was asking, out of how much? The mother said, out of 25. What happened to that one mark? That was the question. So the, <laughs> I can see how much pressure is going to be there upon the child upon this uh, because of uh, this kind of things. So I did, didn't mention this to the uh, the family, but uh, I just talk to just go to the family when I, time permits and talk to them. But this is just going on. I can see some appreciable, tangible changes in uh, some of the students and colleagues, but not all of them. But what I see is, uh, as more important is, uh, what is happening to me when I interact with the other people. And I do not see that uh, whatever work I am doing is for the others, but for me. Yes. Thank you. Very nice. Yes. Thank you. Very, thank you very much. Thank you, Sidney Vasanji. So now I may like to invite uh, Sarmila Didi to put her uh, reflection and suggestion. Namaste. 
जी नमस्ते सुनील जी नाइस शेयरिंग वी आर ऑलरेडी फेमिलियर विद योर शेयरिंग इन द मीटिंग्स एंड इन द लाइक यू मैं वॉल्टियर मीट रिसेंटली एट पुणे एंड ऑफकोर्स विद ऑल योर वॉलंटियरिंग वर्क इन द वेरियस activities that are being held uh i can certainly see you know the changes that um have come about in you i was hoping that you would also share some part of you know incidents uh because people can connect more easily with that uh, rather than the proposals but just how it has changed your living or um what your family members have to say about your involvement um you know say your uh, interactions with your children if there has been a change so if you could throw a little bit of light on that also it might be helpful for others yeah ji didi so um earlier i used to may with regard to the interaction with my children i was telling i used to scold them very much um and sometimes i i beat them too when they were very young now i discuss with them now they are uh, uh, grown up the elder one is of uh, 21 years of age younger one is 17 17 plus so i discuss with them regarding my uh, interaction with them in the past and right now so now i can discuss with them like uh, equal because uh, they also are exploring by themselves and they can see uh, the even the proposals also so we discuss with regard to my activities earlier and we discuss with regard to my activities now or interactions with them now in light of the proposals or outside that sometimes they mock me that uh, you say that you are a usb person but you are not behaving like that this also is coming as an uh, as an expression from them but i uh, am without getting irritated i just discuss with, with, with the proposed with them the proposals once again and it goes on just like that so whenever we have uh, say casual interaction whenever i especially whenever i come back from my college i sit down with them for some time maybe i'll be getting one of them not both of them but i go to the other also sometimes just occasionally and naturally uh, we have some uh, interactions so this is actually helping me also to improve my interactions as well as uh, this is uh, letting them also to see the proposals in a very natural way without actually teaching or preaching them i can see some improvement in them and sometimes they say that no no don't teach us uhp this is not the time for that this also is happening whenever we are dining together whenever we say sit together to watch the tv etc when i start uh, say going into the proposals naturally only then also they recognize it and say that no 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 uh, you don't teach us usb uh, yeah right now this is time for watching tv or uh, um, say dining but this this just goes on naturally i can see there is some improvement in myself in interacting with my children and uh, i can see there are some tangible changes in, in my children too but uh, it will take some more time ji okay. nice very nice and uh, any thing else regarding uh, you know how your spouse and your colleagues um, yeah. look at your involvement with all yeah this? when i discuss this with my spouse the immediate reaction is yeah you are the person who is to study all these things not me that was the first reaction i i, I could uh, get from her uh now also at occasions she reacts um uh, but my reactions come, they are coming down then she says that uh, no no don't act like a muni or the kind of uh, say uh, you behave naturally then i recognize that am i doing that so if i if i need some corrections in myself that's what i feel like so this interactions uh, they have been improving so earlier at occasions we do not talk to each other for maybe for days because of some um, conflict in opinion right during uh, this these times it is not happening that's what i can observe 
and also when i interact with her i can interact with uh, a feeling of relationship i mean i i won't say always sometimes this uh, opposition is coming into me because of uh, uh, this outside trigger because of her discussions or uh, rather her reactions when we travel in uh, car together to her workplace or she may have to go to another place also for her meeting so usually i drop her whenever i have some time so during this time i we start interacting and uh, usually she will be in phone uh, interacting with other colleagues also so i used to mock her you are always at phone then the reaction comes <laughs> i can see this and then i say that okay i am also very much uh, involved in some activities so i can see that uh, at occasions i am also at my phone so in a natural i can say that uh, i can see i can observe myself what i am doing am i reacting or responding to my spouse and interaction with my colleagues also the same thing as i mentioned in my uh, sharing it was uh, there were many reactions earlier but now those reactions are coming down sitting down there is an incident which happened recently but uh, i don't think time is there to to narrate that yeah so i can serve that that comment that uh, narration so there are many things you can observe with my colleagues to somebody i was in opposition to somebody i was not so whenever i have uh, say a feeling of opposition i discuss with the person in detail and also with uh, other persons to whom uh, he is more related to rather he is more close to that just only to improve his competence or her competence yeah so i can serve it here thank you didi nice nice very nice thank you yes so it is uh, the reason i said this was because when we hear from our loved ones or the people that we are closest to uh, we get a, a, another reflection on you know uh, how our behavior perhaps is or you know from our side we of course see our intention and we are able to see how far we have progressed but there is a little bit of a lag between what we have taken up absorbed in and our reflection of it outside in the behavior so that when the others are able to see that is a reaffirmation of our own progress and that is also important so that we can see our concern for them so this is why i mentioned that so that others can also um, you know see how uh, it is for them um, but um, nice sharing and all the very best of wishes i think we are out of time also so yeah ji tara prasad thank you didi thank you so much yeah thank you vidhi and thank you sunil bhaiya to put your inspiring words